Every time I make a video about a POC or network radio, I get loads of comments such as, it's not ham radio, it's just a phone but with less functionality, you may as well buy a smartphone, this is useless without a network, the Android version is too old, and so on and so on, and they're all completely valid points. So I thought I'd pick up and show you what I think is probably the best compromise, the Ulephone Armor 20WT. This is a modern smartphone with very good specs for the price. It's a PTT over cellular device that will run all associated apps. It has a modern Android version, and it's also a UHF analog and DMR radio. This is probably the best compromise you're going to get without spending a fortune if you want your everyday carry smartphone to do all the PTT stuff as well as ham radio. So I picked up the phone itself, a car window suction holder and a tough case to protect it all and thought I'd run through all of the features, settings, pros and cons in this video. As you can see this phone looks absolutely brilliant and it's packed with features. In the box you get the device itself, two screwdrivers for maintenance, a mains plug and a USB-C charging cable and there's also a multitude of manuals and instructions to go with it. Onto the main features and firstly it's IP68 and IP69K rated. IP68 is a protection rating against dust and water. The IP stands for ingress protection, the first number refers to protection against solids and the second number refers to protection against water. The Armour 20WT is totally protected against dust and protected against long periods of immersion in water under pressure. The IP69K rating means a piece of equipment can withstand intensive cleaning with high pressure, high temperature jets, but of course we won't be testing that in today's video. It also has a MIL standard 810H certification. MIL standard 810 is a US military standard that ensures equipment can withstand the specific conditions and environmental stresses it may face throughout its lifetime. This is done by replicating the effects those environments will have on the product. Though MIL standard 810 was originally developed in the 1950s for testing military equipment, the standard has since expanded to cover consumer tech in order to demonstrate the durability of devices like rugged phones and smartwatches. I'd say at the very least that this phone does appear to be waterproof and dustproof, but I wouldn't want to drop this thing without the supplied glass screen protector, and of course, full glass screens will only withstand so much trauma. The phone has a PTT or push to talk for use over analog and DMR, a digital radio standard, and of course, applications such as Zello, Real PTT, and Echolink. I was pleased to see that the PTT works the UHF side when the radio app is open, and the Zello side only when Zello is open. It's nice to see that there's no conflict between the PTT and the various apps it uses, which is a problem on most POC devices. It has a front-facing dual speaker for stereo sound, a 10850mAh battery, much bigger than my iPhone 14 Pro Max battery, fast USB charging, a 50 megapixel rear camera, a 16 megapixel front camera, a 5.65 inch FHD plus display, face unlock and fingerprint unlock, and that all important Android 12. The Armour 20WT has some quite impressive specs too. On the front is the LCD display with a 63.1 screen to body ratio and dual speakers. On the left side are the up and down volume buttons and the PTT. On the right side is the power button and fingerprint sensor. On the bottom is the USB-C charging port. And on the top is the SMA antenna socket for the UHF antenna. This comes with a waterproof plug and some spares in the box too. On the back is the waterproof metal plate which conceals and protects the memory card and dual SIM card slots. And just above is the rear camera and flash. Before we go into the phone itself, let's quickly look at the armour mount and protective case. This has a strong and sticky suction plate that can be used as a car or desk mount. You can adjust the angles and it also extends to bring the phone closer to you. I also picked up the protective plastic case which slots onto the suction bracket. This case comes with a belt clip and a strap with a carabiner attached. For the smartphone side of this device, I was really impressed. 
The screen is bright, it's fast, it runs games and things like YouTube very well. It has the Google Play Store so you can download all the apps you might need out in the field or just for everyday use. The main camera records 1080p video at 30 frames per second and of course it can be used for underwater photos and videos. It has night mode, slow mo, time lapse, intelligent scanning for things like barcodes and QR codes. It also has panoramic and pro mode for tweaking all the settings in different conditions. I put my SIM card in the device and it's running nicely on the 3 network. Of course it can be used on a Wi-Fi or hotspot and also performs as a hotspot. I've downloaded a couple of relevant apps that I'll be using on this device such as Zello, Repeaterbook, Echolink and RealPTT. Already for this application this is the best device I've used because of the smartphone, huge screen and ease of use. Zello works brilliantly where on other devices small screens and clunky Android versions can make it fiddly. So moving on to the UHF radio side of things. This works on DMR and analog. The DMR side I'm still figuring out. It doesn't appear to have a visible slot selection, only colour code and talk group, so this is probably better for use with other Ulephone devices. I did however get it to transmit to my Retivis radio and the Ulephone picked up the transmission coming back, so it's possible only slot 1 works. I'll keep playing with it and update you in the future. In the main app screen you can select your channel and either use the on-screen PTT or the side PTT button. Going to the channel tab allows us to easily see and edit each channel. You can add and remove channels and switch between digital and analog mode. The analog side supports CTCSS and DCS codes, so you can use this on repeaters and on simplex with any other analog radio. There's 136 channels to use, it operates between 400 and 480 MHz and has high and low power levels of 1 and 2 watts. You can also add DMR contacts and send messages with other devices. So finally the pros and cons. The pros are that it's really well built, tough and looks great. It's NFC capable, has the latest Bluetooth, larger RAM capacity, large internal memory, expandable storage with an external memory card, fast charging and a dedicated biometric sensor. It also has decent cameras, the underwater camera feature, up to date Android and runs PTT apps brilliantly. As for the cons, the UHF radio is good but the DMR side may need a few tweaks but for phone to phone use it would be handy for scrambled comms, however the analogue side is great. 2 watts of output power is understandable given the space inside there and the antenna. I've had similar phones with UHF radios and they're all of a similar spec. You can also add a better antenna or even an external antenna and when the weather is better I'll take the radio out and do some over the air testing. It doesn't support 5G and my only other con, which really isn't the device's fault, is that the sound from the speakers is average when you compare it to something like an iPhone. I suspect this is something to do with the IP rating as a way of protecting the speakers. Let's not forget an iPhone 14 is considerably more expensive with the Armour 20WT coming in at around £300. So there you have it, the Ulephone Armour 20WT, a POC device and UHF two-way radio that you could use as your everyday carry smartphone. Thank you.